Jisma. Uh, we are the Smart Pen team, and uh, today we're gonna present our management leadership for e chatter. So here is our go and agenda. Uh, we're gonna talk about our plan of action first, and uh, under our management plan, there are two parts. One is management activities and one is leadership activities. Uh, under the management activities, we're going to talk about uh, team audit, uh, roadmap development, and the project management. And uh, for our leadership activities, we're going to separate it into two uh, sections. One is individual coaching and one is team building. And uh, the goal of the ultimate goal for our management plan is first meeting our product uh, deadline and the second is building a great team, a winning team that can that can uh, do our job. Yeah. Hi, so Dan here. Um, so just to kind of jump into some of the details, um, the immediate plan of action that we're looking at. Um, we have an email drafted and that we'll be sending out after we get off the call with you to all of the eChatter team members and. Uh, that will include the details about our initial kickoff meeting, which will be happening tomorrow. That'll be mostly for all of us to meet the team, get to know them, um, and uh, have, a, have an initial face-to-face -face with them and start hearing some of those concerns. That'll uh, be the kickoff, as we mentioned, to our team audit. So we'll be going over um, all of the information that we have up to now, hearing all the feedback from people, and taking a couple of days to make sure that we have all the information um, that we need at our disposal. All that information that we collect is going to go into um, our roadmap development, which is going to happen over the next three days. Um, and in the middle of next week, we'll be holding a roadmap release. Um, so we will be taking all of that information, consolidating it into actionable plans and items, um, and with the feedback of the current eChatter team, uh, making um, some structural changes, um, some product management changes, um, and some overall um, amendments to the way that this project is currently going. Uh, at that point, we'll move into regular project management, um, and the rest of the team is going to talk about some of the details uh, of each one of these and how they're gonna be supported by uh, our leadership activities. Hi, so it's Shreya here. So I'm just gonna talk about um, what we wanna do as a part of our team audit process. So um, our main goal behind doing the auditing is to kind of find out where the eChatter team is currently at and uh, carry out a top to bottom analysis of their current functioning. So firstly, we're gonna look into their uh, team assignments and kind of assign um, points of contact for everybody on the team for specific uh, tasks and also highlight everyone's uh, description of their roles and define them for them. Um, and also finally, in that process, kind of talk about uh, each person's uh, strengths and weaknesses and also their strengths and weaknesses as a team. Uh, the next step uh, in our audit process would be to do criteria consolidation, uh, kind of uh, collect a full list of current technical requirements and also identify constraints and their shortcomings that they're facing at the moment and find out the most effective way to address them. Uh, next up would be assessment. So we carry out an assessment of their resources that are, are available to this team currently. Um, and also uh, analyze certain resources such as courses or training that are available to this team to improve their subject matter expertise. Uh, and finally, compliance, making sure that uh, the team is functioning in accordance with the company's rules and also that the plans that we want to implement <coughs> going forward uh, comply with our company's uh, core values and code of conduct. Um, and this is also just to report any suspicious or ambiguous act activity that we notice in this uh, team since we're approaching it from a new perspective as new managers. Uh, next up, we have our roadmap and Anvit's gonna talk to you about it. Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, so as part of the roadmap development, we have four verticals that we're gonna focus on. One is team restructuring, where we're gonna identify the human resources and their strengths and the weaknesses. Uh, we're going to co coordinate with the HR team to hire new talent as required and take a firm, a firm stand on the non-performing assets. Uh, as part of the second vertical that's product planning, budgeting is, is a key where we're gonna probably collaborate with the finance and business teams to find out what kind of uh, dollars that we're looking at with respect to this project. 
We can identify the technical requirements from the engineers and define a plan to meet them. Uh, managing deadlines and milestones is really crucial as a time, time sensitive project and we're going to do that through optimal resource utilization. The third vertical is establishing streamlined communication which is very essential as part of our team going forward. We're going to have an open door policy and establish an atmosphere of open communication within the team, across teams and also with the upper management. The fourth vertical is consolidation of resources and cross functionality which is precisely uh, knowledge management. So at a higher level this is making sure that the team and its dependencies are well served. There is smooth knowledge flow between teams which is kind of strengthened by uh, the, the previous vertical that is communication so it kind of all works together. Moving on to the next step is our actual roadmap release and the project management aspect where we're going to distribute resources and training through skill development workshops if required and easy procurement of material resources so making these resources very very much available. The second thing is recognition and milestones events so kind of identifying um, successes, rec recognizing them, keeping the morale high, celebrating my milestones, for example, a phase uh, completion or something like that. Third is updating senior management and you uh, periodically through meetings and other reports so that we can not only keep you uh, up to track but also kind of leverage your insights and uh, judgments moving forward. The fourth is daily and weekly reviews and project updates, uh, kind of following the agile methodology and having uh, you know, iterative feedback systems to go back, back and forth, and kind of making sure we don't fall, uh, we don't go down the wrong path long enough to realize that we were a, we were, we have a, we wasted a lot of time and we don't have to come back all the way again. Yep. Uh, so yeah. yeah. So thanks, Anvil. Yeah. So as a part of our leadership activities, one of the main things we want to do is have individual meetings with every team member of the uh, each charter team. So we have four um, broad and very four, you know um, very important goals for these individual meetings and the first one would be to discuss their motivation, find out what intrinsically motivates them and figure out as their leadership how to facilitate that and how to enhance that and keep it going for them and also provide extrinsic motivators uh, for good performance. Uh, make them feel like they're recognized and their good work uh, will result in them receiving rewards or anything of the sort. Uh, the next one, next goal would be to assess their confidence and build their confidence. So since this is a new management coming in, we want to make sure that the each other team feels confident about their co-workers and their working, uh, uh, working team. And also we want to feel, make them feel confident about themselves and their abilities to perform well for this project. Uh, the next one would be goals discussion. So we want to make sure that uh, as the leadership of the each other team, we are aware of uh, each of the team members individual and career goals. And also we want to make sure that these goals align with our product roadmap. So just to make sure that um, they're motivated towards our project. Uh, and finally, uh, a crucial aspect of this would be conducting difficult conversations. So we hope that our audit process and our roadmap release and uh, all of our management activities so far um, help us identify um, negative aspects of this team or certain issues or troublemakers in this team and conduct difficult conversations as their leadership to eliminate these issues and to overcome these issues and also be open to their suggestions and uh, also offer them a lot of room and accommodation to be uh, comfortable with the solution for their issues going forward. Uh, next up, uh, Yuan will talk to us about the specifics. Thank you. Uh, here are some you know details that we need to go through during the individual meeting. Uh, the first one is ask deep reason uh, of their self performance or the deficiency besides the behind their uh, smoke screen reason, and that is kind of thing that we can conduct to identify interest, uh, intrinsic motivating factor. And the second question is showing, uh, second part is showing empathy and understanding of their problem. Uh, so that could build up a good 
trust and the relationship with uh, coaches. Uh, the next part is helping them find solution by uh, absorbing their thoughts and letting them to try their solutions on their current problems. That could give them a good motivation and conduct some difficult conversations to solve the problem. The next part is helping them understanding the overall goals and making sure everyone's objectives are connected to overall objective. That could build up a goal-oriented uh, you know, work culture and give them some motivation on their goals and figure out what they want to do. Uh, next is reviewing, reviewing their previous work and phrase the achievements they have done. Uh, you know, when, I, when we uh, phrase some achievements, they can have some confidence about their uh, previous job. And then we emphasize the achievements of individuals uh, which beyond their perceived capability of themselves. That could help them have further build, building up confidence and motivate motivates them to do a better job. Uh, the next part is showing confidence on them and assign some challenge beyond their uh, current perceived ability to help them build up confidence. Uh, and the last part is having following up meeting and getting frequent uh, feedback from coaches and make some uh, necessary adjustments. Next part will be introduced by Zihao. Okay, hi. Uh, for the team building part, uh, I want to uh, show two points. First is, uh, I think we should uh, facilitate cross-function parts. Uh, because uh, as we all know, uh, every department can meet diffi uh, different challenges, so our team can benefit from the help of other teams within our company. And this kind of uh, help can uh, uh, help to create a, uh, a helpful uh, environment, I think. And the second part is a, bra uh, is a brainstorm meeting. Uh, we can set uh, some brainstorm hours weekly, so that at that time, uh, we can uh, get, uh, have everyone involved and we can think about new ideas and innovations uh, relevant to our new products. And this activity can help to improve the performance of our team members on our assignment, uh, on our assigned task. Okay, so next part. So the next action we're gonna take, and this is the part we really want to focus, is developing team culture. Because we believe that a good team culture is a foundation of a great team. And we're going to create the chatter that every, everyone agree with. And uh, the last action is plan some activities, activities for the whole team. So we're going to have activities such as a lunch or team sport team uh, at a team sport time. And we believe these kind of activities can easily build a close relationship between team members. So just to wrap all of this up, um, I think we've taken quite enough of your time here, but uh, our primary goal here is to meet the design and development um, requirements for this project. Um, we are going to first find out what they are, and then we are going to go at them um, with everything that we have. Um, and in doing so, we are going to need and are going to build a winning team uh, that will be able to make eCharter a successful product and one that this company can be proud of. We have these management and leadership activities that we've outlined for you. We're going to use them to streamline the function of the entire department, and we're going to follow up with them um, weekly and daily right at the beginning of the project, uh, be continuously improving our team, and make sure uh, that we can replicate some of the success that we've had on the Smart Pen project with this each other project. Um, so at this time, if there's any questions we can answer for you, um, we're all here, we're all on the call, and we're open to taking them. Thank you.